Yo, yo, what's up everybody? We went on a trip this last weekend to a card show in Shipshawana, Indiana. Uh, the doors opened at 9 a.m., but we showed up a little after 11.30. Uh, and when we got there, as you can see, it was absolutely packed. Uh, it took me about five minutes just to find a parking spot, but it was definitely worth it. Uh, the first table I saw when I walked in was the Card Collector 2, and I know everybody knows about him, definitely said what's up. Uh, but it seemed like everybody here had a ton of really, really nice stuff. Uh, there was graded cards, sealed wax, raw cards, high-end, and pretty much every type of memorabilia in the book. Uh, so far, this is only my third card show, but I'd say by far this is by far one of the best. Uh, I'm pretty sure someone said there was around 145 tables, and everybody there had some higher-end stuff, so definitely speaks for itself. Uh, the doors were supposed to close at around 2 p.m., but we left closer to 4 o'clock, so it was pretty dope that uh, they kept the doors open a little later. I definitely scooped some stuff and did a few trades that I'll show off. Uh, the craziest card I saw there was, I mean, just look at this. It's a Luka Doncic Gold Prism PSA 10 out of Select. I mean, that card is absolutely nuts, but before we finish the trip off, we definitely had to stop at Popeye's because every time we go there, they take care of us, and it's always good to go out on a spicy chicken sandwich. Alrighty, and as promised, I am going to show some of the card pickups and the trades that I did at the card show. Uh, before I get into doing any of that, however, we still do have the giveaway going on. Uh, we're going to do three winners. We got three quarterbacks, a couple blasters of NBA hoops. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe on the giveaway video, which I will put in the description. So make sure to get all qualified for that. Well, like I said, uh, we are gonna—I am gonna show off some of the card pickups that I got at the card show because some, I mean, there's some absolute gems. Definitely some pieces that are gonna be uh, highly valued in my collection. Are gonna stick with me for a long time. So this one right here is a 2016. Upper deck, all-time greats, Mike Tyson on-card auto. It was graded a 7, auto was graded a 9. I, I didn't get this at the card show. This is this one I've had. Uh, I haven't shown this off at all, so definitely felt like putting it back there. You can see numbered 8 out of 20. Kind of hard to tell. But yeah, definitely just... When I brought... I took this to the card show, and everyone there just loved it. So this felt as if, you know, it should show off. This is definitely one of my favorite cards. I mean, just look at it. It's so pretty. But yeah, like I said, I didn't get that at the card show, but definitely felt as if it was worth showing off. And then on the right over here, we have, I believe this is 2005, 2006, uh, Topps Chrome. It's a Jay-Z rookie card. Uh, these things are popping off. I also didn't get that at the card show, but figured I would put it back there because definitely a really awesome piece. I got that in a trade and just really felt as if it deserved to get shown off. But first up, uh, before I show any of the cards, this is something that I got in a trade there. I thought it was really awesome that it was still sealed. It's a 2019 NBA Hoops Premium Stock uh, sealed cello box. I mean, NBA Hoops Premium, It's the market's not really too hot on it right now, but I mean, it's an inaugural set. So I think over time, it'll appreciate a little better than where it's at right now but yeah got a full sealed premium stock uh cello box i don't know how he i don't know how the guy walked out of the store with this sealed but yeah definitely happy to add that one to the pc because i mean having anything sealed wax is just fun to have then in this bag right here i also this is more sealed wax scooped up some nfl prism cellos five of them i'll probably open one on this video just because like like always it's not a video unless we open them i figure one of these has to have like a nice herbert or a nice burrow in it we're gonna pick the second one we'll open that after we show off everything all right so now we get into we only got four cards here but definitely some really really nice one really nice ones first up is this let me take off the take that off it's a 2017 panini spectra jason tatum jersey autograph uh numbered 131 out of 299 on card autograph nice uh green jersey i mean jason tatum he speaks for himself i mean 
it was literally less than a week ago he dropped 50 points so he's definitely a stud no one's gonna argue that boston is very loyal to their market so very happy to pick up one of his uh i'd say this is a nicer higher end uh jason tatum rookie card next up is definitely one of my guys uh, i had to scoop this up when i saw it it's a sga white jersey panini contenders optic autograph also uh, on card this one i don't believe yeah it's not numbered but i mean it speaks for itself i'm a huge fan of these uh contender optic rookie tickets and i'm a even bigger fan of sga and uh, i mean it looks good with it on but yeah i mean card speaks for itself absolutely beautiful and it's definitely one that is going to stick with me for a long time so next up we got a little bit of football it's a 2019 donruss kyler murray autograph it says uh bronze parallel i mean it is a sticker autograph but something about the rated rookie stamp this stands out to me a lot unfortunately this card also isn't numbered i mean it's not it's really not really that big of a deal because the card is really beautiful it speaks for itself and uh in my opinion i think kyler murray he could be one of the top quarterbacks uh, i don't know if he'll be the face of the league one year but i mean maybe one day and uh fingers crossed for him and then last the last card i scooped up was nothing really too crazy but with the hawks getting to the playoffs this year um, I think Trey Young's markets is going to do really well with that. This is a 2018 Panini Prism Trey Young, just a base rookie card, PSA 9. Got this in a trade as well. I mean, it's nothing too crazy, but I mean, I love Trey, and I think that he's going to have a really nice career ahead of him. So that's going to do it for the card pickups. As promised, I am going to open a NFL Prism Cello. I mean, this is probably better off sealed, but... I mean, it's been a long time since I've opened some football, some prison football, so. Whew, this is some scary stuff, man. Definitely hit or miss. I don't really have too high of expectations with one cello, but I know these are reselling at like $60 a pop right now, so they're definitely not they're definitely not anything to play around with. All right, let's open, let's open a cello pack, because like I said, it wouldn't be a video if we didn't open anything. We have Sam Hubbard. Brandon Cooks, Jordan Jenkins, Darren Waller, Montgomery, Melvin Ingram, we have a George Kittle, Ian Thomas. We have a green uh, green prism coming up. Is it a rookie? Not a rookie. All right, we have a green prism, Darren Waller, followed by Tyler Lockett, Brilliance, and oh, there we go. I'll definitely take that. C.D. Lamb rookie. Ooh, look at uh, look at that. What are you doing, Panini? Quality control on that. Man. So what would have been a good hit, C.D. Lamb was kind of destroyed by whatever's going on there. I don't know what I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to have to hit up Panini for that. But we still got... I believe this is a red, white, and blue bonus pack. And you should get at least one rookie in there. So fingers crossed. We have Le'Veon, Justin Simmons, and uh, Josh Uchi. So yeah, definitely nothing crazy. But yeah, that wasn't really the point of the video. It was just a little bonus. Definitely the highlight of the video were new car pickups. Love this new Jason Tatum and this new SGA. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Show some love and peace out.